following the ceremony, could everyone please just hang around the back or behind the seating there, um, over by that tree that's on the corner, and just stick around because she wants to get up. They want to get a group photo of everybody that came today. Um, they want to know who was here today so they can send thank you cards to everybody that helped them celebrate and who wasn't so they can send hate mail to them for the next 10 years. So let's begin. I'd like to invite a friend of the bride and groom, Dana Oliva, to start us off in a reading. I will be reading Sonic from the Portuguese by Elizabeth Barrett Browning. How do I love thee? Let me count the waves. I love thee to the depth and breadth and height my soul can reach when feeling out of sight for the ends of being and ideal grace. I love thee to the level of every day's most quiet need by sun and candlelight. I love thee freely as men strive for right. I love thee purely as they turn from praise. I love thee with passion put to use in my old grief and with my childhood faith. I love thee with a love I seem to lose with my lost state. I love thee with the breath, smiles, tears of all my life, and if God choose, I shall but love thee better after that. Thank you, Dana. This is where Stacy gave me an opportunity to say a few thoughts about their marriage today. And they've both been kind of and brave enough to give me this opportunity to be efficient at, on a special day for both of them and our two families. It's been a unique exper experience watching this wedding get organized, as I've seen the many trials and tribulations that go into such an event. And being the bride's brother, I saw the stresses on the bride and groom that come in plenty a day like today. All in all, the stresses and hang-ups aside, we came together fluidly, as you can all see. Throughout the process, Stacey and I had asked me my opinion on several things, especially the ceremony itself, given that I would be the one guiding it. I didn't take all of my suggestions, however, in regards to today. As you'll see later at the reception, it's unfortunately devoid of beer pong table, plastic cups, and ping pong balls. But hey, it's a fair wedding day. day. I think when it comes to planning and executing a wedding, it's not so much the day of and the years after they test a relationship, but the days that lead up to it. If you two can plan this union as well as you have without killing each other, yet, then your years together that are yet to come will be a week. You two have been together for several years now. I lost count when I couldn't use just the fingers on one hand. That really wasn't my high school strong point. And although it hasn't always been easy, which as any of us that are here today have been in a long relationship, no. If you put half as much effort into the rest of your lives together, as you put into the one day, I'm confident you will get the fulfillment and happiness out of one another that everyone searches for. On that note, let me say my final thoughts while I have the chance. With myself as a spokesman for the African family, despite your Yankee family affiliation as welcome to the family. I apologize to all the Yankee family out there. <laughs> Had to say it. And as the officiator for today's ceremony, let me bless this union which we all are all here to witness. I now invite another friend of the bride and groom, Brandon Noyes, to come forward with the, with the marriage blessing for coming. 